Okay, let's get started with uh, a system to pick up items from the floor. Maybe to pick up some ammo or health or anything else. Uh, to do so, let's make a shared script. Uh, let's call this pick up item. <clears throat> and open it up. There we go. Let's get rid of this for now. So this will be uh, where we, we will in, uh, always inherit from the pickup item. So let's make a, a, a void on trigger enter, which takes a collider. First, for now, we're going to check if it's uh, the player. So if collider tag not equals player return. So we skip out of the, uh, the on trigger enter. Otherwise, we're gonna do a pickup. So let's uh, now let's first create the, the method for it. So uh, void uh, pickup, <coughs> which takes a transform item transform. And in the on trigger enter, we say pick up item. Uh, sorry, not item. Collider transform. So the transform we are colliding with. And now let's make an overridable method here. So public virtual void on pickup, which also takes a transform. And we're gonna do nothing here for now. We're just gonna use it to override it. And then we're gonna say in our pickup on pickup item. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah. So let's test this out. Uh, create a new uh, game object, an empty, empty game object. And let's add a cube to it. Raise it up a little bit and get rid of the collider. Now with the game object selected, let's first add the uh, trigger, so a collider. If you select the collider, you can actually see the collider. And uh, you can see it's now, it's down uh, to compared to where the uh, cube is. So just uh, raise the center up to one. And we say uh, is trigger. Check if the player is really. Uh, let's uh, give the player the tag player, because otherwise our script won't uh, won't tag it right here. <coughs> okay, and we need at least one um, at least one rigid body to actually um, interact with the collider, and we're going to add it to our player. Uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna use it uh, anyway. So let's uh, uncheck use gravity set is kinematic. Maybe also just uh, block these constraints. I'm not entirely sure, but let's see what happens now. We can still do whatever we did before, but now we are able to uh, uh, collide with something. So let's uh, check here. Uh, print um, test so get rid of our other um, <coughs> prints because we don't really need it right now okay so now let's see if it works if we get the message if we can't do it uh, nothing why not it's a collider oh yeah we should have of course uh, Let's first uh, drag the item, the script pick up item to the game object we just did. There we go. So now when we enter the the, uh, the collider, it triggers the uh, player on on enter. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so now. We're gonna uh, create a new script. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this uh, pickups. Let's create a, 
a new uh, ammo pickup. Let's open this up. Let's inherit it from our pick Python. And now we can say uh, override the on pickup. So when the when the pickup occurs, we say uh, print uh, whatever. We can remove uh, this one. So now, uh, now we could. <laughs> I removed the uh, the base. Of course, we don't need to uh, have to. Uh, we need to keep it there. Fuck me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for my language. Uh, let's remove this one. Add the ammo pickup here. Uh, remove this one. Let's see what happens. Whatever. Okay, so now we are able to give our script um, something to act on whatever it is. I mean, um, this this script will be uh, ammo pickup to find the player's inventory and drop a certain ammo of a certain type to its uh, to its inventory. But this could also be uh, we could also make a new pickup which will give us help. Um, yeah, it's a really short video. I don't have much time for now, but the next video we will uh, add the um, object type to, the, to our ammo to actually give our player ammo to our inventory.